Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. So we're looking at just a tremendous number of research plots this year, again, trying to learn how to take the next step forward in terms of ramping up wheat yields. So what are we looking at? Well, we're still looking at the normal things. I call these normal. They're fairly new, but sulfur on wheat is certainly one thing we're looking at. And we're trying to determine how do we figure out which field needs it and which field doesn't need it. And and how much do we actually need when we do need it? We had a little bit of research there last year. We need to repeat that. We are, of course, working on nitrogen. Nitrogen is the key driver of wheat yield worldwide. Just doesn't matter what you want more yield, you have to use more nitrogen. So this year in our nitrogen trials, we're actually going up to 180 pounds of nitrogen, if you can imagine that. I'm not recommending you do that because, man, it could have bad consequences, but we need to figure out where the top is. And last year, we simply didn't get that. The other there's a whole bunch of other things, but some of the cool things we're going to look at this year, one is the Green Seeker technology. So that's certainly where we use the NDVI, the, the, uh, the vegetative index, looking at how green the crop is to see if we can actually sense the greenness where we haven't put the nitrogen on and variably rate apply to increase our yields. Some exciting research by uh, Lloyd Murdoch and Phil Needham out of Kentucky. We're, we're looking to see if we can apply that to Ontario conditions. The other one that we're really excited about is this whole canopy management. We've always struggled to make split nitrogen applications pay. I can get a bushel or two more yield, but it basically only offsets the added cost of driving through the field twice. Believe it or not, I've managed to get a few growers, not everybody, but a few growers in Ontario absolutely excited about wheat production to the point where they say, hey, we're gonna drive through the field twice anyway because split nitrogen, it's, it should be better nitrogen use efficiency. It should be better for the environment because I don't put on as much at once. And by the way, I can also kind of hedge my bets. I put a little bit on early so I don't run short. And then I put the big whack on later so that I can get the yield that I want. So this canopy management is really starting to look at delaying the second nitrogen application to that second node stage, growth stage 32. And we're really excited because last year's research said another seven bushels. So we're gonna try and figure out, is that real and what are the risks? And I'll tell you one of the risks is in one of our plots already, we didn't put enough on up front. The wheat got yellow before we got back there. Gosh, we're back kind of struggling to say, yep, so we needed more nitrogen up front. What is the right balance there? So lots of cool things. I have the best team that works on wheat in all of North America. I can't say enough about Shane McClure, my technician, and all our students, and we will drive wheat yields higher one way or another. Mm -hmm.